There's a popular movie called Her in which the protagonist falls in love with his operating system and there's a quote in there which says how can one feel so alone in a city full of millions and I was rewatching that movie last week which reminded me of a book I had read at the start of this year called The Lonely City Adventures in the Art of Being Alone by Olivia Lang and it's an amazing work of uh, part biography part memoir and a part cultural criticism on the subject of loneliness explored through the lives of iconic artists uh, living in New York in the early 20th century. As a person who likes to spend a fair bit of time by himself, I was really drawn to the subject matter of the book and that's, I mean, the title seemed really interesting so that's why I picked the book. And um, what really happens is Olivia uh, in her mid-30s moves to New York from England to live with her boyfriend but the relationship doesn't work out and she's living alone. Uh, she finds herself living alone in New York without any daily human interaction with any, any friends. So she feels lonely and fascinated by the most shameful of experiences, she began to explore New York by way of art. Now the traveler in me thinks that to be stupid, I would love to be alone in New York and explore the city um, and just do whatever I want to do. But another part of me also sympathizes with her and understands what she might be feeling uh, after a relationship being ended in, in a foreign city where she does not know anyone. So and there's a quote by her in the book which says, you can be lonely anywhere, but there is a particular flavor to the loneliness that comes from living in a city surrounded by millions of people. One might think this state was antithetical to urban living, the masked presence of other human beings and yet mere physical proximity is not enough to dispel a sense of internal isolation. So she explores the lives of different artists who have felt the same way and channeled their loneliness in art. Some of the artists, um, I mean they're really popular but I was not aware of their work because I had just not, I was not introduced to their works before. And some of them include Andy Warhol, um, a famous um, artist, film director, producer and the founder of the visual art movement, mostly pop art movement um, in the early or the late second half of the 20th century and then there's Edward Hopper who's famous for his painting called uh, Nighthawk and then there's Henry Darger who was a hospital custodian, used to live alone but got really famous after he died when his landlord discovered his hidden stash of writings and uh, um, paintings after he died. Then there's David Wojnarowicz, uh, artist and also an AIDS activist. Then there's Klaus Nomi, a German vocalizer and many others. Uh, and what she says about loneliness is, uh, what does it feel like to be lonely? It feels like being hungry. Like being hungry when everyone around you is ready for a feast. It feels shameful and alarming. And over time, these feelings radiate outwards making the lonely person increasingly isolated, increasingly estranged. And then what follows is uh, brief descriptions of the AIDS epidemic in around the 1970s and how the gay community especially was uh, targeted by the normal population for perpetrators of uh, AIDS. And uh, the, then she explores shame and stigma and how that relates to loneliness. And I can't, uh, and I mean, I can compare it to uh, our uh, uh, lives right now as well how kids or I mean, I mean everyone is bullied for being different than others and how shame and stigma can play a big part in a person feeling lonely and um, yeah so if you really want to I would highly recommend reading that book if you want to explore uh, the feeling of loneliness a little bit further and I guess everyone feels lonely uh, at some point in the life however uh, wherever they live or uh, if they're living with a big family of 20 people or living alone but what really stood out to me the most or the most important lesson that I got from the book was when she, when the author says that if you feel lonely you have not failed you are just alive and it's just a human experience to feel loneliness but sometimes we put shame and stigma even on uh, feeling lonely and don't talk about it uh, quite often which also reminds me of a passage uh, from an essay I had read a few months ago called Being Alone. And the passage goes like somewhat like this where um, 
you can't solve your own experience of loneliness by finding connection with others sure go out have fun have meaningful conversations volunteer um date and and just do whatever you want to do but at the end of the day all you really have is yourself so to be to to not feel lonely you have to be okay with your own company so be kind to others be compassionate but at the same time don't forget to do the same things for you so yeah and um, if you yeah if you read the book let me know i'd love to discuss that with you uh cheers <laughs>